Okay, hello all. Uh, welcome to Data Science with Julia. So today we are going to see about statistics. So so let's see like what I've done. So like I've actually updated my book. Like okay, it's called like okay like Data Science Book dot GitLab dot IO. And over here, if you see like there is a section called statistics, and it's about this section I'm going to talk about in these videos. So data science is nothing but like computer science encapsulating statistics okay so that's the thing and uh uh okay so actually like i just want to tell you something like okay so uh, there is actually a linear algebra package already there in julia that does most of the statistics stuff okay so that's the thing right and uh once again right uh, and sorry and yeah sorry there is a linear algebra and yeah statistics package that does most of the statistics stuff that's been done uh and what to say yeah you can find the links in my book okay and uh there is this thing called uh, julia stats.org so this is kind of a dedicated package for julia and all those things and uh, so these are all the packages that's there and i think this website will say how to install and all those stuff right yeah for serious statistics yeah you can do like this but we are studying data science so like i would like to code from scratch okay so so in this video we are going to code from scratch uh some of the statistical functions we are just going to code from scratch okay so like okay so uh what is stats like stats is all about counting and finding properties of counts okay so that's the thing so uh let's say like we have total like we have an array like a number like one two three and we just want to find total so mathematically it's been given like this total is equal to sigma this is called a sigma this symbol is called sigma so this i is equal to one to n means okay there's three elements over here so i is equal to one to three over here so and uh, this can be this equation can be written as okay sigma of one to n x of i that is can be written of written like x1 x2 x3 and similar so on to uh, xn okay that means like okay 1 plus 2 plus 3 okay so it's like x1 plus x2 plus x3 so on to x xn so this is what this is the function we have just coded okay so like i will also show you where i've coded it's over here uh the link is okay the link is over here now you can if you go to the statistics section you can see over here right so this is the link that is the gitlab link okay so i'll only be putting this link like the statistics section link so that like i don't i just don't want to put a lot of description so that's the thing so yeah so yeah we have coded a function for total so it takes a vector so for every and the total is uh assigned to zero and for every element in vector we add it to the total and we just return the total fine so yeah we just try it with sum of one two three and it gives six okay we just name it as sum okay so that's the thing right and similarly i think you people know what minimum is right so it is the least value in an array right so like okay so uh this is how it is so we need to code a function called uh uh okay actually there is a function called minimum in uh julia okay that does it but uh, we just code it okay so like uh just for fun or something like that so uh let me walk through you to the through through the function okay i don't know what i said okay let me walk through you uh the function okay so right okay so like okay so uh we have a function called vect minimum because i think there is a function called min and uh, or minimum or something like that so i didn't want that namespace to clash or i could be wrong so so like i just kept it like okay uh, a function called vec minimum that means vector minimum or something like that right and minimum i just take the first value by default so that's the minimum okay so for each and every uh, element in this vector v, okay so uh what we are just doing is if the element is less than minimum we are just assigning minimum is equal to the element okay so that's what we are just doing and finally we are just returning this minimum. actually no need to return min but yeah i've just coded like that so let it be like that okay so it's all you need to do is just to put min and still it will work the same right so that's it anyway let me just execute all these things so that it, you know it works okay so yeah there is already a minimum over here, so yeah. 
and yeah it's still works okay so similarly yeah you don't need to put return max over here but yeah since i've just coded like that and that will be in the book like that but over here yeah you can do it like that so yeah maximum is uh similarly maximum so maximum is nothing but inverse of minimum that is like okay not inverse of minimum for to say uh, exactly opposite of minimum so like all we just need to do is to take this less than sign and put it as greater than sign so that like if the element is greater than maximum then maximum becomes a element right so that's how it is we already have a maximum function in julia that's what i'm just doing it over here right and yeah like we execute this function and we get the maximum version so what is range okay range is nothing but the distance between the maximum and minimum so you have two values over here okay so assume that okay this value is greater than this value so the range is the distance between this one so this is the range okay so i hope you can see my hand okay so the distance between this and this is the range so uh so that's what we are just doing so the maximum minus minimum so we already know like vector max and vec max and vec min okay so we just compute the delta that is the distance or whatever it is okay i just uh, okay it's not whatever it is <laughs> the distance okay and uh, i am returning the absolute of distance but i don't think we need to do the absolute of distance because i don't think it's going to be negative okay so uh it is always going to be positive that's what i just think uh, but yeah like uh, uh what to say like uh, uh i don't think we need absolute over here right okay so let me see what i put in my book okay so i think i need to do another video series yeah a uh, vec max minus vec min i think that is enough i just think but yeah like uh let me just try it so that like uh, okay this is there okay so okay let me just remove this absolute stuff okay so and put like uh okay uh okay okay and yeah this should execute okay let me add few more cells actually this plus sign in uh, what to say jupiter lab can be used to add a few more cells okay. so let me put it like okay uh minus 300 and then minus 500 okay so so it's 200 let me put it like 500 and 300 okay it should be 800 i think okay so okay let me just put it like okay 300 and minus 5 still it's 800 so i think yeah this in this itself is enough so i just got confused and i just put this absolute stuff and all those things so i don't know i think i need to make a change okay right so yeah that is the range okay the maximum minus minimum is range okay and i hope you know average so okay let's say like you eat like okay like uh okay like one mango today tomorrow you eat two mangoes because you really really liked it <laughs> and next day you had three mangoes and the day after that you had two mangoes so uh in four days uh you had around about like 10 mangoes and what is the average stuff so average is nothing but the sum of this thing so we have already defined sum over here right so that's the thing and what to say like and that divided by the number of elements okay so that's the average okay so the number of elements will be got by the length of v and uh, that will be the mean okay so uh that's the thing right so yeah you have the mean and yeah it's 2.5 right 10 by 4 is 2.5 okay so what is median okay median means okay whatever is in the middle okay so you have got this one two three one two five three four if you rearrange this it will become like okay like i i think i need to put another cell or, or something over here so uh, let me just put it like something like raw or something so that like okay if you rearrange this it's it's going to become like one two three four and five okay so that's how it's going to become what is the middle stuff in this the middle stuff is three okay so that is the median actually so yeah we just okay so what we do is like okay like uh okay let me tell you two scenarios the first thing is we sort this vector okay and we get the length of the vector 
and we get the middle that is we just divide the length by two okay so that's the thing and we just do the ceiling stuff ceiling is nothing but okay what i'll tell you what the ceiling is okay uh okay so uh over here the length is going to be five uh the five divided by two is going to be 2.5 okay so five divided by two is going to be 2.5 and uh, to get the middle you need to get the next value after 2.5 that is the next integer value after 2.5 so it should become actually three okay so the cl function though so the cl function c e i l of 2.5 will give three okay so uh actually that is the thing we need to take over here so the third value we need to take right so yeah so that's why we just do the sale function and we i just put int over here but i don't know whether int is needed or not but yeah it looks like some in some cases it's, it's needed so yeah uh let me take off the int and do it another time and see okay so so okay we have got three over here so but then what you have just got only four values okay so right so okay when we have just got four values okay so let me just put uh, another cell of uh, raw means it's just like text uh, a plain text or something like that markdown means it it means some other formatting language uh it'll be great if you know markdown so like uh, you can search in the internet for markdown and all those stuff but yeah uh, let's concentrate on what we are doing so one so okay so this one will be uh, when arranged uh, this one will be one two three four so what is the middle in this okay the middle in this has no it has no middle right so look you can split perfectly into two one and two and then three and four so it has got no middle so what we do is like we just take two elements uh -huh. the middle two elements okay so the middle two elements and then we just average it out so so that's what we just do so if uh n mod 2 is zero that, uh, that is like if it's even number okay so then what we do is like we just take the middle okay so like uh, the middle is nothing but n by 2 over here so what is this n by 2 that is 2 that is this 2 over here right and then middle plus 1 that is 3 okay and then we just average it out and we just return that value okay so that's how it happens so what is 2 by 3 it's sorry 2 plus 3 is 5 and that by 2 is 2.5 okay so uh, what is the difference between mean and medians okay so let's say like uh, uh, there is uh, what to say a class and somebody has a birthday and uh, uh, that person who has a birthday has like kind of four friends or something like that and that to one close friend or something like that so she distributes like sweets to everybody and so they all get one sweets and for her some kind of uh, a friend he she just gives like five and seven sweets and for a very very close friend she gives 10 sweets or something like that so what is the mean number of sweets one gets okay so like okay yeah i need to say right okay so what is the mean number of sweet one gets it's around about like 2.8667 okay so, so nearly three sweets but do you, do these people got three sweets that is most of the people i think they got only like what to say like this is a 15 element uh, vector but out of that only four people got more than three sweets most of them got one sweet so that is wrong right like to tell in statistics okay almost on an average person okay that is true mathematically true but if you look okay let's say like in a country like just assume like okay uh there is a country everybody earns uh what to say like one rupee in that country and uh okay uh imagine like one rupee is very very high valued or indian economy is or the rupee or the economy in that country is super high and one is one rupee is very very a big value in that country okay so most of them got only one rupee and few bosses got like five seven ten ten rupees and to say that okay like the people get like uh almost all people get like two uh, nearly three rupees of income is really really absurd and so so like mean fails over there so in that case we do we go for this called median okay so all we just do is like we just order it so this is kind of ordered so the middle i think i think it will be somewhere over here or something like over here i think this is the middle and this is one okay so 
that's the thing so and that's what median gives so median is okay so these values like 5 7 10 10 they are called as outliers okay so just because like jeff bezos or what to say you know, elon musk went to space and all those stuff uh doesn't mean that everybody can go to space or something like that or uh, sorry i don't think elon musk went i think richard branson went to space okay doesn't mean that everybody can go to space have their own space companies and all those stuff right so like um they are all outliers okay so like me uh, whenever you need to describe about humanity you don't talk about outliers you need to talk about the common man but unfortunately history is such that okay most of the books have been written by outliers nothing has been written by common about common man and we just think we are great because outliers are great so <laughs> that is a funny thing about human civilization but yeah that's how it is okay so this is mean versus median right and yeah after this mood yeah we'll stop because like percentile and all i'll tell it in the next video okay so that's it. uh okay so but the median just returns uh uh the right value one okay uh there is a thing called mood mood means you just look at this array okay most of the people got one so it it's worthy to say like most people got one suite or if you think like okay this is an array of earnings in a country or daily earnings in a country most people earn one rupee a day or something like that okay so some uh, so like yeah like uh, uh the mood what does it does is like unlike taking value in the middle it counts all values so the one is round about like like there are 14 ones over here. sorry like 15 minus 4 is 11 ones over here one five uh, one seven and two tens over here so the mood just returns the maximum number of counts that are there so there are 14 ones so it returns one okay so that is more so for this what we do is like we import this mllib and that has a, a function called counter so the mllib is over here so uh lib mllib dot jl okay so that has a function called counter yeah okay that counts the number of array and number of uh, that counts the elements and uh or to say it says like this element is has so many counts and blah 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 and all those stuff and uh yeah so and then what we do is like we just sort this thing okay to get the highest to uh, lowest and it gets sorted something like this like i think like uh uh once again let me just show it to you so that you will know have some idea so like okay i think it sorts something like okay like uh okay so it sorts something like it sorts in reverse so it puts like 14 ones okay so and then uh, uh then it puts like okay like this comes out as array that is like i'm just telling about this line okay? let me view uh, let me put line numbers so that you will get so show line numbers okay so in line six okay so it it works like this okay it returns array of tuples okay so this array returns uh tuples like this one so 14 ones okay and then uh uh five okay like like there there are two tens okay so like if you look at this array but there are two tens okay so and then and what like uh there is one five and one seven okay and now all we need to do is to take the first value okay so we are taking the uh over here we are just okay counts of max to min of one will take the first value okay so it's it will take this one 14 comma one okay and that will be a tuple and we need to take the second value of the tuple so that will just be one and that's been written out also okay so that's the thing so this is a basic basic stats thing and yeah i'm also developing a stats lib and all those stuff okay and yeah that's what is just going on yeah and the reason why i didn't put some videos is like i'm just struggling with something and i just want to tell you in this video if somebody knows put a comment like look i i want to write about mattresses and look julia has very very good libraries on mattresses but this book is all about like we understanding and we coding stuff okay like uh so it is not like okay like getting uh 
Oh, becoming a data scientist very quick or something like that. Okay, you have you might have already become a data scientist. Even I am a data scientist. But the thing is, like you, you for some people there is urge to uh, do uh, to understand hundred percent what they are doing. Like it's like this free software community. Like there is a free software community because like we want to know how software works. Okay, so that's why we try to use much as free software as possible and all those stuff. Similarly, like I just want this to be a very very. Uh, uh, I just want to build a community or something like that where people understand what really goes on into, into this data science. Statistics was easy. Like I read it from this book. Like okay, like a uh, uh, data science from scratch. Scratch. Okay, data science from scratch. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, like this uh, statistics uh, uh, section. I read this book and I just wrote it. Okay, in my book. Okay. Yeah, this book pause. Okay, if you think this book pause, possibly like yeah, you can just read my book. It's going to be almost similar. I just think. Okay, so that's the thing. Like, uh, but the thing is like yeah, uh, they have given very very excellent statistics section, but the matrices section no. Like they haven't given it. Good. Uh, I was uh, especially like finding out uh, inverse of non-square matrices and all those things. Those are not done. Uh, those weren't given uh, well in that book. But I wanted to understand. I wanted to write write my own function. Like there is a function called p in that uh, inverses non-square matrices and all those stuff. Uh, I just want to understand and I just want to put a perfect thing like. That's why I just took so a uh, lot of time between these two videos. I was just researching on that. Still, I haven't got it, but I still want to write matrices thing on my own. I've got this thing vectors. Vectors is nothing but arrays. I can just put a thing over here, look at arrays, and that's the thing. And sigmoid, Bayesian, and all, yeah, I've got it. But the thing is, like, I just want to write about matrices, right? So, uh, I, and I just want to understand it today. So, if anybody knows any resources about matrices, Please do comment in this video. I highly appreciate it. And I just want to write my own stuff and what to say. I just uh, so that like uh, readers of this book will know exactly what they are doing. Like matrices and all are very important when it comes to machine learning, like uh, and neural networks. So we need to understand hundred percent. Like it's not like saying like okay somebody has wrote something and we are using it and it's been tested well. It's good. Okay, that might be good for practicality, but the sake of true understanding i don't think that's good it's so that's why it took a lot of time to put just to uh, that is to between the last video and this video so hopefully yeah like i can i can understand it put more videos and only after this i just want to proceed to other sections so so yeah uh, that's why it's taking time anyway thanks for watching if you're following this uh, channel and as well as like this playlist i highly appreciate it uh, if you're not okay like if this is the first time Try to like, subscribe, or whatever it is, so that like we get enthusiastic and put more videos. Okay. Uh. Anyway. Uh. Thanks for watching. Uh. Bye.